This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, Puzzle 23, Displaying Information to the User. Before we make our application interactive, we want to practice creating some simple user output. When the app starts up, the first item in your list should be displayed. Let's write the code that will display this information to the screen. Do this. Use set text to set the main text area to show your first favorite thing. Okay, I'm going to go to blocks. I think it's easier to see. So use set text to set the main text area. So what's my main text area? I just called it text area. Not the best label, but since there was just one, it worked. And then my first favorite thing. Ah. So, what's the first thing in an array? I named my array favorites. And so, the first thing in an array, you need to square bracket, is going to be zero. Okay, so, good. Use the set text and list length to set the, the text indicating what item of the list the user is currently viewing. Ah! Ah, uh, so that is a bit trickier. We want to use the set text again, but we're going to use a, um, well, here, whoops. I called my number label. It's this one. Okay, that's straightforward. What we want to do, though, is we, we're not sure how many entries there are. So how could we have the computer figure that out for us, right? So I know this is my first thing. So this is going to be um, 1, um, and I'm going to leave it in this format. So 1 of, I'll put a space here as well, plus, but if if this changes, how can I know that I'm always going to get the correct size that will tell me the end of the list? And this is where length is going to come in, right? So favorites.length. Because notice, we're not displaying the index. This is at index 0, but I'm saying 1 because people don't know code, right? We want it to say, is it the first item in the list? And then we want to say, of how many? Let's try this out. But uh awesome. So that favorites dot length is a bit tricky. Let's uh keep going. <laughs> 